And so today, class officially begins, and we will be spending the next eight weeks and two days together in this classroom. This week, uh, the coming week, the first week, you only have a one assignment, and that is the discussion. Now, you will also see that there is a 1-2 uh, review of the final project, but that is not a deliverable. But look that over because your final project is worth 400 points. That's 40% of the uh, points for this class. Anyway, I think it is. I'm an English teacher. I'm not a math teacher. So uh, look at those... Uh, Look over the guidelines, review the rubrics, and of course there are several milestones leading up to that final project that we will do uh, complete over the next few weeks. But for this week, respond in the discussion, introduce yourself in the, uh, uh, the getting, getting started form, and remember, you must post in the first graded discussion, so that will be 1.1, defining myth, and not the getting started uh, form at it, in order to be able to stay in this class. I almost was stressing which form you needed to speak in. I almost forgot the point that I was making. You need to post in that 1.1 discussion during the first week or you will be removed from class and we don't want that. So um, I guess that is about it for uh, this announcement and of course I have written the information that you need to know as well uh, and so let's get started let's define myth and at some point I will be giving my definition of myth in that uh, in that board because uh, strangely enough or maybe it is to be expected there are many different mythologists mythographers or whichever term you want to use and not all of them agree on what makes a myth a myth or what a myth is in contrast or in context with other tales of fantasy. Our textbook, um, Barry Powell, the man who wrote our textbook, he disagrees with Joseph Campbell about the definition of myth. And Campbell is an extremely well known. So even the experts can't get together and agree about some of these aspects. But there are aspects on which they do agree, and we will talk about those as well. Also note that there is a forum in uh, the discussions area for mythic literature. And I have posted uh, some uh, works that I have found interesting and helpful. And Nicholas has already posted uh, a reference to uh, a, I think it was Belgian or German uh, comic. So myth is used in many applications. There's many different kinds of mythic literature, and uh, some of it is fictional, and some of, uh, some of it, if we define literature as uh, also being nonfiction, many of it is, of course, nonfiction. And, you know, a couple minutes ago I said that was about all I was going to say, and then I continued right on and said more, but I am going to stop now, welcome you again to class, encourage you to post in that uh, 1.1 discussion or get booted, and I won't be the one doing the booting, and um, be thinking about your final project because it will be here before you know it.